Good morning, everybody. Hope you had a great evening. It was delightful once again in Wichita with <clears throat> two-thirds of the state west and north of us getting a lot of moisture. Uh, it missed south central Kansas once again. And uh, the biggest <clears throat> wheat production per acre comes out of south central Kansas. Uh, this area around Wichita is where Mother Nature usually blesses uh, the state of Kansas and northern Oklahoma with the highest uh, wheat production per acre, but the moisture is passing us by. Uh, there's moisture in the forecast for the next five days, covering a great deal of the um, hard red or hard red winter wheat belt, so that's good. And you see that reflected in prices with uh, beans less than ten bucks, corn less than four dollars, and wheat hovering around five. Quite a correction from a couple of years ago. And if they would just get rid of uh, this ethanol subsidy in corn, uh, we would get back and bring normal economics back to meat production um, uh, and grains being exported to the rest of the world. If there's ever any doubt in your mind <clears throat> about high volume numbers being attractors and supporter resistance the first time hit, <clears throat> this chart should be printed. Uh, you can see that the little central area right in here, say 23 to 25, is where volume is being built right now. Uh, we've got a buyer below 20, and we've got a seller into the buck. So we've got resistance at 28, even to 27, 28, and we've got support at 27, 16 to 20. So our first buy is 17. 21 and we've got this low volume number down at 11 we'll make 9 to 13 by number two I think Friday's news the non-farm payroll number tomorrow's ADP number I uh, hold the market in check no matter what happens with ISM services today uh, pretty healthy forecast uh, for ISM services so uh, we will see if that comes in uh, Overnight stock markets, China was crushed, uh, lost 4% of its market value with the idea that they're going to raise margin requirements. Uh, they talk about it. Uh, it's easy to talk something up and get the reaction that you want. Uh, but being able, if they were to go in and raise margin requirements, uh, it would kill that one bright spot, uh, their stock market. So it, it's really, really difficult for a senior uh, officials that run all the world's central banks to do anything but keep interest rates where they are and keep pumping in as much liquidity as they think the market needs. They have boxed themselves into a square that only growth can cure, and most of what they do is offset almost immediately by new programs, new rules and regulations, higher taxes by the, by the uh, government. So, um, so growth cures a lot of ills. Uh, the engine and mechanism for growth uh, is there. Uh, it's lower taxes, it's regulation, but uh, that would <clears throat> take some power from the uh, uh, the ruling governments, and they don't want to give that up. The socialistic uh, uh, model, socialism, doesn't work. It's been proven time and time again. The most coercive form of it, which would be communism uh, to date, um, worked even worse. And the argument used by uh, the people that believe in that um, is that we just haven't had the right people doing it. <clears throat> and enough people fall for that that um, they're able to um, stay pretty close to the reins of power. Okay, looking at the 30-year, uh, we've got definitely this little break right here at 157, 157.04. You can see it right here. Then the, then the market really essentially jumps up to 16. So it's 57.04, 57.16 is uh, where resistance is. The low volume number is 11. So a structural sell at 10, you'd risk three ticks, um, uh, is um, where we'd see it on uh, the sell side. On the buy side, uh, structural buy at 
4004, leaning against the low volume number at 5603, uh, would be the structural buy. Uh, we're currently at 20. That is a ways away. So we have a buyer uh, below 16, uh, definitely below 12. So we'll make 9 to 13, buy 1. And off the idea that the news might come in a little stronger than forecast and 1 to 5 for buy 2. On the sell side, we've got volume at 27.28. We're at 18. We don't have any trouble rallying up, so we'll make 27.31. We'll put a question mark by 23. Sell one, then three to seven for sell two. Okay, today's news, trade balance, minus 42. Markets um, service PMI at 57.7. Back last year, I thought they got pretty close to it. The, their numbers come in ride, tend to ride high now. The focus will be ISM services. 56 and a half. Pen is not riding. Well, God dang that is just really, really great. Thanks, Anthony. Always something. Let me see if I can shut this SOB down and start over again. This has not been a good month for computers. I, I've got to shift the laptop off now. All right. Does this pen, does this work? Can anybody see anything on the screen? Bunch of squiggles. Well, I'm going to be shutting everything down. I'll be back up in about five minutes. Three to five minutes. Be with you as soon as I can.
Hopefully you can see the writing right now. Good. Thank you, Anthony. Other people may be yes, too. So if Anthony can see it, we'll make the assumption everybody can. Okay. Um, anyway, the uh, ISM services at 56 and a half, and then IBD's TIP Economic Optimism Index at 50.6. The services, ISM services, 56 and a half is a pretty healthy number for the economy. And uh, so that'll be the market's focus. Uh, nobody pays a lot of attention to trade deficits. So we're, we're, where we have been, we've got our attractor up here, basically at 97. We've got a round number at 1,200. We're currently at 89, so getting stops above the overnight session is possible. So we'll make 93, 95, sell one. 98, 1200, sell two. On the buy side, our 85, 87 has worked out pretty well. And then our 80, 82. A pretty interesting article on the state of the markets right now. It's been turned over to um, the trading community. A lot of people out there um, I mean, they're long, whatever their investment guidelines uh, have them um, doing, they're already long, and they, they've kind of quit the market, so they're not really playing, and we see that in volumes. And this creates a real dangerous situation because you get very, very large institutions that make their money off of trading, and because it's a trading range, they don't really have, you know, if you can wait out, wait a couple of days, you get your money back, and then probably... Um, Make something. Well, Nancy, you know, I uh, once again, let me, I, I've already done that, but we'll go back and we'll do it for the uh, bond. And the numbers that I had were 27s to 31s, 3 to 7 for sell 2, had um, 9 to 13 for buy 1. And one to five for buy two. So let me know when you got them. Well, I'm, I, yeah, I know the pencil didn't come through. Let me know when you have the numbers. So. Well, the situation you're in is that you get very, very large institutions that have grown. Uh, I mean, I, I always, uh, whenever I get any increase in income, and my uh, spending automatically goes up, and it's always tough to cut it. And the same is true for large institutions. So they deal with lower and lower volatility and less and less trading range, and they have to put on more and more size uh, to cover their budgets and overhead and meet their projections. And then... The, they figure out if they don't do any, they don't have to take losses if they can wait a day or two, and then all of a sudden volatility explodes and they get their head handed to them. And it, it's something that we have to watch out for too as a trader. Uh, it's very very easy to become complacent, and um, you just, you really have to guard against that. Okay, let's go back and take a look at crude. We we figured that they might be going for stops above sixty, so. Right here we have the 6050, then we've got 6150, then we've got what 6250, so 6050, 6150, and 6250 is where we are. And then we have this little area right up in here, 6335 to 6435 would be our fourth. So uh, we're knocking on this door at 6050. So this is one, two three, and four, and um, one of the things that people don't talk about, there's 4,000 plus wells in our three shale formations that are awaiting completion, and a lot of crude oil has been stored above ground waiting for higher prices, so as prices go higher, uh, you get closer to the break-even, and on the low side, they figure 
45 to 55 is where break even is on shale oil. And um, on the high side in the $80 range. Uh, so this floor of 40 to 45 looks pretty solid for right now. Uh, 75 to 80 uh, looks like it'd be pretty tough to get through without a major change in news like war. So 6050, 6150, 6250 is structural resistance for crude. And we've gotten stops above 60. So we're here. Uh, 6025, 6050, sell one. Looking for rejection of 6050. Then 61 plus or minus will be sell two. Uh, the breakout came out of this 59.50 area, so 59.50, 59.75 by one, and then our 58, 58 and a quarter by two. The shooting and fighting in the Middle East keeps the spec seller out of the market. Now. If you are a trading firm that can deliver crude oil in, you can come in during the day and like lock in what you think is an advantageous price. And some some firms will do that, but they have the ability to deliver in. And most people don't know this, but uh, Texaco and Star would trade futures. Coke trades futures because they don't have access to production. But ExxonMobil don't trade futures or didn't back in the old days because of the threat of investigation by the SEC or the CFTC. They just said, you know, we are the oil market. We're big enough wherever the price of oil goes uh, is where it will be, and we're along for the ride. And so the threat of legal action by the controlling bodies kept them out of the market. Okay, looking at the euro, you can see the spill from the 90 area. Uh, we're at 25, so 45 to 55, sell one. 90 to 112 will be sell two. Um, the Greek resolution is hanging over us. So we don't know what it's going to be. 111, 1090 to 111, buy one. And then 50 to 60, buy two. Okay, to the e-mini, um, by the volumes, <clears throat> a lot of the reporting services have said, you know, the, as we've seen, that the um, large players are sidelined. Um, ISM services number today would be a um, pretty good uh, number for the um, e-mini. So we've got our breakout at 21, 2102. Uh, we've got this rotation stopping, so stops below 05, 3 to 5, buy 1. Might be 4 to 6, they make us pay up to get in long early. Uh, on the sell side, um, 10 to 12, and then 14 to 16. I think we've got a trading range into Friday's numbers. Um, and we got this high volume number down here at 98.99, so we'll make 99.01 by two. Okay, trade balance minus 42. Don't think anybody will pay any attention to it. Markets PMI service, pretty healthy number, 57.7. ISM services. 56 and a half. And the um, business optimism index at 50.6 below last month's. And this is the news focus right here at 10 Eastern, ISM services. 
Got to take about 20 minutes to get everything up. Got to get busy on that. Be back with you as soon as possible. Uh, we have trade balance news early. Then at 9.45 Eastern markets, PMI, 10 Eastern. Um, the Optimism Index and ISM Services. Be back with you shortly.